Hello viewers, today we're going to go over the basics of a light motion. So buckle up, we're gonna start. Okay, so these are the basics. That's the bar I used to name stuff. This is the cogwheel, which adjusts your video. And this is the export button, which you can use to export your video into different formats. These over here are the layers, the undo, redo, previous, play, next, the settings for the layers, and preview. So you can preview what you're doing on the project. And yeah, again, layers. This is the plus button, which allows you to import objects into a light motion. This is the freehand drawing, which allows you to draw whatever onto the screen. You can use some effects on it to adjust it and edit it. This is the vector drawing which our lovely Kazi used to make this model right here. And this is the text. I'm sure you all know what text does. Before we get into any of the actual animating, here are some things you need to know first. One, pivot points. The summary is that they basically act as a joint. Your objects will rotate around the pivot point according to how you placed it. So here are some examples. If you rotate this arm, the hand will rotate from the fingers. If you rotate this one, the arm will rotate from the forearm, the center. And lastly, if you rotate this one, it will rotate correctly from the elbow. To move the pivot point, tap a layer, go on move and transform, and tap on the location icon on the left, and a dot appears on the middle. Then use the pad here to move it like it says. Back then when I first found out about light motion, the pivot point was obnoxiously large, but now it's barely visible. You can see a lot better in your app rather than my video. When you're done, you tap the same location symbol to go back and you just go on the rotation, scale, skew, whatever you wanna do. To group layers, hold one of these little things, images of the layers by the side and tap the rest once it turns cyan like this and it has a tick. And then press one of these, ideally this. And yeah, now you've got your group. When you select a layer, anything within this box has a keyframe. To move body parts, ideally you go to move and transform. To add a keyframe, you press on this diamond shape with the plus in the middle, which adds a keyframe at the beginning of the layer. And if you scroll forwards, you can add a keyframe by tapping on the keyframe button or making an automatic keyframe by moving the rotation, the location, scale, or skew. If you're not happy with where your keyframe's been placed, you can hold it and drag it along the layer to where you want. 
To delete keyframes, tap on the keyframe button on the left like the way you added it. If you want to delete all the keyframes, hold the keyframe button and delete. And last but definitely not the least important basic for today is bookmarks. To add a bookmark, you tap on the time on the long white line that goes vertically across the screen on the bottom. Bookmarks are really helpful and important because using these two, you can move forwards and backwards quickly between them. Finally, put all this together and make an animation. Mine's gonna be about a character kneeling down. You can follow along and if it's too quick, then you can use the playback speed from YouTube to slow the video down. So while I'm editing, how are you? Did you have a good day? You know, I actually think that some of you might not actually bother to try this. It's kind of like watching a workout on the internet and they're complimenting you like, good job, there's only one workout left and you're just sitting on your bed eating popcorn and accepting all the compliments. But if you try this, you will get better because practice makes progress. Anyway, please consider subscribing if you found this helpful. I'm going to leave a bunch of links to relevant videos on animation down in the description if you need them. Like uh, parenting, because there was a bit of parenting use here, but uh, the model that I used was from Kazi and she already parented all the body parts so you won't really need to worry much about that but I will leave some tutorials about that for you so you can use them so uh, yeah is that all actually no I think I have a new video coming up it's gonna be pretty short it's a small announcement I think you know what it's gonna be about if you follow my Instagram at Aviva Cheetah. You can also DM me on Discord, Aviva Cheetah, hashtag 6296. I'm not always available, but um, I have the account open on my laptop, so I'll be checking more recent, re recently, frequently from now on. One more thing, please subscribe. We're so close to hitting 9,500. And I'm still stuck on 9,400. It keeps fluctuating up and down between um, 470 and 490. So please make me really happy and make my day. One subscription equals one prayer for Aviva. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and coming this far. Until next time.